God bless America. Today, I will tell you about five devices from the 50s. Make yourself comfortable. We're starting. In the 1950s, color television burst into the lives of ordinary people like a color vortex, leaving the black and white world in the past. It all started with the invention of a wonderful scientist named John Lovey Baird, who, as you probably guessed, loved to paint rainbows in his childhood. He thought, why not color our daily lives as well? Joe began experimenting by mixing paints and electrons. After numerous attempts and random explosions, he finally created the first color TV. His first experiment was to show the public a picture of blue sky, green grass, and red roses. The audience exclaimed in delight, Incredible! How beautiful! I finally see that the grass is not gray. However, in this hilarious process of the emergence of color television, a real-life story happened. The moment one lady saw red lips on the screen for the first time, she exclaimed in fright, Oh no, I thought I had anemia. But it turns out to be just red lipstick. It turned out that at the time of the transition to color images, many women were sure that the color of their lips was part of a medical diagnosis. So the era of color television began in a fun and colorful way, bringing rainbows to the homes of viewers and coloring their daily worries. In 1950, a landmark moment in the history of household appliances took place in the United States when Bendix Home Appliances Corporation introduced the first washing machine with automatic loading for the mass consumer. This innovative model was named Bendix Automatic, and it became the first washing machine to offer an automated washing cycle. Automatic has attracted the attention of consumers with its convenience and ease of use. She automatically performed all the steps of washing, including filling water, adding detergent, washing, draining water, and rinsing. This was a significant step forward compared to hand washing, which had previously been the standard in most households. For the first time, consumers could afford not only to reduce physical labor, but also to save time when doing household chores. The advent of Bendix Automatic in 1950 paved the way for the era of automatic washing machines and laid the foundations for a modern approach to washing at home. In the 1950s, in a small town, the Smith family was one of the first to purchase an automatic loading washing machine. Mr. Smith, trying to impress the neighbors, decided to organize a presentation of his new acquisition. He gathered everyone in the neighboring yard and confidently presented his miracle machine, talking about how washing has now become easy, how Bendix Automatic does all the work, and what progress it is for their entire home life. However, at the moment when Mr. Smith pressed the start button, the washing machine began to hum inhumanly, and then, as if getting out of control, suddenly began to produce rhythmic sounds. At first, it was just a rumble, but soon the whole yard witnessed a real washing dance. Mr. Smith, blushing, tried to stop the washing machine, but it seemed to be in the mood for fun. The neighbors laughed and applauded, and when the dance finally ended, the whole city remembered this funny episode for a long time. Since then, Bendix Automatic has served the Smiths faithfully, and every time it started, the funny moments of her first dance were remembered. In 1945, a Raytheon engineer named Percy Spencer accidentally discovered microwave technology. He was working on developing radars for the U.S. Air Force when he noticed that microwave radiation from the tube could melt chocolate, which he kept in his pocket. However, the most amazing thing happened when Spencer decided to check out what else could melt his invention. He had a pack of popcorn at hand. When he turned on his microwave, the popcorn exploded and Spencer realized the potential of his discovery. In 1947, Raytheon introduced the first microwave oven tapan, Ratarang. It was bulky and heavy, but its effectiveness was amazing. She used microwave energy to cook food quickly and evenly. In 1949, the mass production of microwave ovens for military canteens began. This oven cost about $3,000, and in 1955, the American company Tappan Company introduced a household microwave oven. Originally created for military needs, the microwave oven quickly gained popularity in the civilian sector, simplifying the cooking process and changing people's daily lives. In the late 1970s, the Johnson family in the United States met their first microwave oven, Harry Johnson. The head of the family was an electrical engineer by profession, but even he was somewhat puzzled by the new device at first. On the first day after the purchase, Harry decided to test its capabilities by heating soup. 
He put the bowl in the microwave and apparently forgot about the special plate designed for use in microwaves. When Harry turned on the device, a real fireworks show started inside. The sparks and flickers made the Johnsons at first scared and then laugh in surprise. Later it turned out that the use of non-micropious dishes led to this pyrotechnic performance. The Johnson family quickly figured out the correct use of the microwave, but this first comic episode became unforgettable in their family history. They told this anecdote among their friends and neighbors, emphasizing the importance of studying the instructions before using new equipment. In 1947, engineers at General Electric, Leonard Vi and Harold Stevens, introduced the world's first refrigerator with a freezer called Monitor Top. This refrigerator has become an innovative solution for housewives, providing the ability to store food and frozen food in one device. The idea of creating such a refrigerator came to engineers after the Second World War, when technology was directed to everyday needs. The Monitor Top was the first refrigerator of its kind, in which the upper part was intended for a conventional refrigerator compartment and the lower part for a freezer. This solution allowed families to store different types of food in one convenient place. Monitor Top quickly became popular among consumers, facilitating their daily lives and providing new opportunities in terms of food storage. This refrigerator has become a harbinger of modern devices, providing convenience and efficiency in the kitchens of families across the country. In the early 1950s, many families in the United States faced the challenges of storing food, especially frozen food. However, one day the Miller family from New York witnessed a real miracle of household appliances. In 1953, Mr. Miller, deciding to make a Thanksgiving gift to his family, purchased a brand new General Electric refrigerator with a built-in freezer. It was a real luxury of that time. After they installed a new miracle in their kitchen, Mrs. Miller delved into the world of frozen food in delight. Instead of going to the store every time to buy fresh food, they now have the opportunity to buy food in stock and store them in the freezer. Thus, even on warm summer days, the Miller family always had the opportunity to enjoy fresh food. The neighbors, having learned about this new convenience, began to admire the idea of a refrigerator with a freezer as something incredible and luxurious. Soon, many families followed the Miller's example, and refrigerators with freezers became an integral part of modern kitchens. In the mid-1950s in the United States, Ampex Corporation, a company specializing in the development of audio equipment, decided to cause a revolution in the field of sound recording. In 1956, they introduced the first commercially available electronic stereo sound recorder, the Ampex 350. Working on the creation of this device, Ampex engineers, led by Ross A. Snyder, sought to improve the quality and capabilities of audio recordings. The Ampex 350 was designed for both studio and home sound recording and became the first tape recorder capable of recording and reproducing sound in stereo format. This device instantly aroused interest in the music industry and among audiophiles. Recording and playback in stereo format made it possible to create deeper and more realistic sound images. Soon, studios began to be equipped with Ampex 350, and artists and sound engineers enthusiastically embraced the new features. This event was a turning point in the history of audio recording, opening new horizons for the creative process in music and pushing the development of recording technology. The Ampex 350 is considered one of the first electronic stereo sound recorders that changed the sound industry. Oh.